you're not a bad parent for moving. Let's talk about it. You know, a lot of people say they want to move abroad, especially in retirement. And the number one excuse that they make, they can't be away from their kids. Folks, retirement is your time. And my take on that excuse, that's crap. Let's get real here. Chances are, if you're ready to retire, your children aren't actually children anymore. And there's a good chance they have some of their own by now. They're probably grown, or about to be anyway. They have, or will soon have, jobs and families of their own. And the fact is, they don't need you. And if they say they do, well, maybe it's time to take away their pacifier or security blanket. They need the opportunity and experience of making it on their own just as much as you do. Wouldn't it be awesome if they had the opportunity to take extended exotic vacations that were super affordable? Is that something you'd like to give your kids? I met a subscriber the other day and he shared with me his story of moving to Thailand after he lost his wife of many years to cancer. His daughter and one of her friends had made a pact that they were going to travel abroad at least once a year. When he announced that he was moving to Thailand, they were in the middle of planning a trip. They immediately changed those plans and decided to come to Thailand. He met them in Bangkok. They went to Chiang Mai together. The girls then went down to southern Thailand on their own. And before they went home, he met them again in Bangkok. Everybody had a great time and he got to spend time with his family. She got to have a great vacation in Thailand and spend time with her dad. That was an opportunity that otherwise would have been missed. There are so many benefits for you and them if you make the move. Make the leap. Treat yourself. Live a happy life. And in doing that, give them the opportunity to grow, travel, have more experiences, see more places. It gives them a chance to live their best lives too. You're not just doing it for yourself. If you think about it, staying where you are is actually holding them back. Moving abroad doesn't mean cutting ties. You can still text, you can still call, you can still have video calls. You can still go home and see them. They can come and see you. It's not like you'll never speak to them or hear from them again. Heck, build those visits into your budget. Or meet in the middle so it's a vacation for all of you, just like he did with his daughter. And like I'm doing with my kids later this year. I want you to ask yourself these questions and I want you to be honest with your answers. Right now, living where you are, close to your family, who initiates contact? The calls, the texts, the invites to get together. If the answer is you, then ask yourself why they don't. They have their own lives and you're just sitting there waiting on them. How often do you actually see them now? Still don't think you can do it? Do a six month trial. Go someplace, check it out, see how it feels. But just keep in mind, you're gonna know it's a trial, so you're gonna be counting the days until you go home. And that's not exactly what it would be like if you actually moved, but even if it doesn't work out, at least you can say you did it, you tried, you'll have the experiences, and you'll have the memories. Look, leaving your family and moving abroad doesn't mean you're a bad parent. Yeah, you're going to miss them some, they're going to miss you, but you're still going to stay in touch. Get out there, make some memories for all of you. Like I always say, die with memories, not dreams. I'll see you in the next one.